In this video, we're going to test the hypothesis using the p-value approach. In the previous video, we used the classical approach. So the first thing we need to do is actually determine the p-value. So we open StatCrunch, we press Stats, Proportion Stats, One Sample with Summary, and then we need to enter our number of successes versus observations. I believe it was 125 successes out of 150 observations, and I'm going to double check that, and we need to find the value that we're actually testing. So yeah, so 125 out of 150, and we're testing 0 0.90, and this is a left-tailed test because my inequality sign is pointing to the left. I press compute, and my p-value is 0 0.0032. So we enter that. And then we press uh, check our answer. We get the fantastic. So knowing that our p-value is 0 0.0032, we have to compare that with the level of significance. If our p-value is greater than the level of significance, we do not reject or we fail to reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is less than the level of significance, then we do reject the null hypothesis. So in this case, since our p is smaller than our alpha, we reject. And then we check our answer, and we get the excellent. That's it.